Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've built this WooCommerce shop site here. Um, this is part of a course we did online if you want to take the course. I've got a discount coupon below this video if you want to learn how to build this particular site. We used a, a free template and a free WordPress build to build this site here. It's a clothing store with all kind of different things and accessories and bits and pieces. What we're going to do in this series of video, we're going to install a plugin called Elementor, which will allow us to build extra pages. We've got plenty of pages on here. But what it's going to do is allow us to build real custom style pages. So follow along with this series and we'll show you how to build some great things using the Elementor plugin. Okay guys, uh, yesterday we made this number counter section. Let's move on today and let's just do a little testimonial section. They've got a great little testimonial module that allow you to build a lovely little testimonial like this really easy. Or really easily, I should say. Right, let's get started. Okay, I've got my page open with Elementor. Here's the row that we finished with yesterday. Let's start a new section. And I'm just going to give it one column. That's fine. And I want to make this our nice blue we've been using. So let's go in here and just steal that color from our style. There it is. Go back to our row. Click on the little blue tab here. And let's make it the row full width. The contents, I'll keep those boxed so they stay this sort of size in there rather than go full width but the background will be full width now let's just give it a bit of color put our little color in there now let's give it a bit of padding top and bottom similar to we've done the way we've done it here i think we used 100 on that so let's continue that i'm going to uncheck that because i just want to do top and bottom i don't want to do left and right if you leave that checked it will do all four at once and I don't want that right now. It's a time saver a lot of the time, but not at this particular time. Okay, so I'm happy with the padding. We've got top and bottom there. And there's our module. We've not got anything in there yet. So let's go ahead and put something in there. Just click on our little matrix up the top here, the little square box of dots. And let's go on down and here's our testimonial module. And let's just plump it in the middle. And as you can see, it's put in a bit of writing there. Obviously, you want to put your own testimonial in there. And there's a place for an image and obviously the name and a title description for whatever the person is that's making this. I'm just going to copy the text that I did in this one earlier. save you sitting there watching me typing and let's just paste this in to our little box right here there we go now I want to make that whiting <laughs> I want to make that writing white let's do that text color I'm on the style tab fantastic size wise I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is you could hit the tie box typography button here and make it bigger or smaller make the the weight more or less I think what I want to do here though is I want to make that all italic because quite often when you see testimonial quotes they're in italics it used to be the default font for doing testimonials was Georgia italic I don't know if that's still true so let's make it italic which will give it a bit of a curve you know a bit of a slant There we go. Let's see what we've got now. Okay, it's got a bit of a 
a slant it's a bit of a forward slant there that's the italic on there obviously you can change it to a handwriting font if you want to but i'm going to leave that just like it is and obviously if you want to change the font just up here with the family there's a huge selections of font fonts here you can use or you can load some google fonts if you really want to i'm going to leave it on the default but do have a play around because you can get some great effects okay moving on we've got a place for an image here and as you can see we're on the style tab image here we can set the style whether it has a border or a border radius or not let's go and put an image in there if we go back to the content we can just click the little image placeholder there and let's put this little lady in right there she'll do fine i'm not going to upload a new picture just for this and as you can see it's put a picture in there and quite sure okay it's asking you what size the actual resolution of the image is that's fine i don't think she looks like a john let's call her jane and she can be a fashionista whatever that may be okay and i don't want it to link it to anything you could if perhaps link it to a, her facebook page or something like that but that's entirely up to you image position at the moment it's it's an a side so it's on on the side i kind of prefer to see it on the top here with the name underneath so let's just change that i think top's the other option yep there it is okay that's fine alignment center that's fine too okay let's go to our style now and now click on our image now we can make it bigger or smaller just simply by sliding this or typing in a value here let's say 65 there we go that's fine you can make it as big as or as small as you want you can make it 165 if you want it's kind of actually it's not too bad but it's a little big for me let's say 120 yeah that'll do now if you want to you can have a border give it a little solid border and as you can see i don't know if you can see that or not it's actually giving it a black border there now i'm gonna leave that check this time because i want all of them to be the same let's give it sort of two picks and let's make that white in color there we go it's got a little white border around it now i hope you can see that so you can style it any way you want um border radius i'm not actually going to bother with that because at the moment it's a circle image which is fine so you really don't need to mess with that okay let's move on now to the name jane smith all i want to do with that is perhaps make it a little bit bigger text color i'm going to leave it that light blue but i am going to make it a little bit bigger so let's click on typography and just slide our little slider up mm, it's a little bit too big yeah something like that that's fine so i'm happy with that i'm going to leave it the color weight i'm not going to change anything like that the style i think that's just right as it is line height there's no second line so that doesn't really matter the line height would would push that word that below it if you gave it a larger line height it would push that further down and a smaller line height would bring it closer to it so i'm going to leave that fine i don't want to change any spacing or anything like that so let's go ahead and move on to the title last but not least well i want to make it white so we can see it a little bit better mm -hmm. let's make this one uppercase let's go to type typography i don't think i want to make it any bigger but i will make it uppercase which will make it capitalized that's about it that's all i want to do with that so there's one little testimonial very easy to do and and it looks quite striking so let's save this and take a look and it's always a good idea to have testimonials on your site sort of builds confidence with people visitors to your site seeing other people's testimonials and let's 
crawl down to the bottom there. And there it is. There's our little fashion statement, our little testimonial section. Very easy to do. Looks very good. I like that. It's nice and clean. And as I said before, a testimonial is a great thing to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.